we are in Times Square. Now, as a New Yorker, there's not always a lot of reason to be in Times Square, so why would I come to Times Square? To talk to the mascots? No! To stare at the big advertisements? No! I came to Times Square because they have opened a great restaurant, one of the great restaurants on Earth in Times Square. The one and only Jollibee Times Square. Let's try it. Maybe they'll have some new menu items. This is exciting. It's 9.30 in the morning. Let's eat fast food. Hello. Hi, Okay, what do I get? The famous Jollibee. What should I try? I've never uh, tried some of this stuff. Two-piece chicken joy. Okay, two-piece chicken joy. What else is fun? We got, we got mashed potatoes, french fries, two-piece biscuit, and steamed rice. That's the biscuit? Um, can I do the uh, baked mac and cheese with the two-piece chicken? On the mac and cheese? Yeah. Okay, no mac and cheese. Let's do biscuits. And do you want spicy or regular chicken? Spicy. And then let's do one of these peach... Uh, peach uh, mango pie. Do you have another one? Oh, uh, no. That's the only one we serve at this location. Okay, sweet. And you have burgers, too. Okay, I think uh, I'll try a burger. <laughs> Maybe I came too early? All right. Might have, might have hit him too early, ambushed him. Look at this place. The Jollibee in Times Square. Is this just... We're not serving the burger yet, but we are serving the original chicken sandwich. Okay, I'm in on the I'm on the in on the chicken fried chicken, and I'll do the uh, ma uh, biscuit, and then. Just letting you know that the meal comes with a biscuit if you still want the two piece biscuit. Okay, cool. I think yeah, that's fine. I'll do yeah with the meal with the biscuit, and I'll try one. Of, what desserts do you have? You have the peach mango pie and the. Yeah, only the we have peach mango pie right now. All right, I'll do that. Your meal also comes with a drink. I'll just have water. Soda water or water? So, so you don't want to try the pineapple crunch? Uh, I'm good. I think I'll just do water. Thank you, man. Bottle of water? Uh, no, just just a tap water is fine. Oh, I see. So you got you do salads and stuff too when it's the afternoon. Awesome. I should have got the spaghetti, but for next time. Great advice. Be happy. I like how my guy asked me if I wanted a leg and a thigh, or two legs, or two thighs. That's good fried chicken service. Look at this beautiful Jollibee in Times Square. Bustling Times Square outside. We have our meal. Let's crack into this. I'm pretty excited, actually. I don't know if I've ever had the mashed potatoes or the chicken meal. What did this guy hook up with? I told him to look at that. Beautiful, and a biscuit. Look at that piece of chicken. And then, of course, mashed potatoes with gravy. That's a winner. Honey mustard sauces. Also a winner. This guy recommended a little honey with the uh, chicken. I like that. And, of course, extra gravy. At the Jolly Bee Times Square. Probably, I'm assuming, their flagship... American Jollibee. The thing about Jollibee is, I'm not even joking, I think it's delicious. I don't just come here because obviously I do a lot of Filipino stuff, but it really has some of the best chicken in the country for fast food. Look what else he gave me. A bunch of ketchup, so very non-Filipino, I think, thing to have with your Jollibee, but let's start with chicken. This looks like one perfect, perfect thigh. But first, let's take a photo. Okay, let's go for the chicken. Is this a mukbang? Is this a Jollibee mukbang? I don't even really know what a mukbang is, but this might be a Jollibee mukbang. Let's go, dripping gravy. Oh wow, okay. It's 9.30 in the morning. That is delicious. How do they get it so crispy? 
You know what I like about Jollibee? Is you come here, and even though it's a fast food restaurant, you'll be like, I'll get the mac and cheese. And they'll be like, that's not ready yet. That means they're making everything fresh every day, which is pretty impressive. Let's use some superlatives. Incredibly fresh, crispy, cracker crunchy crispy. This tastes like salty premium plus crackers covered in chicken stock and honey dipped in mysterious brown gravy. One of the great fried chickens anywhere in New York. And look how juicy that meat is. I think it's officially a mukbang. Okay, what's next? I think, what's ch fried chicken without gravy? What's biscuits without gravy? Oh. This is good. This is so light. My goodness. This is a shockingly good biscuit. Okay, continuing the mukbang. I think we gotta go honey. Let's go for the drizzle shot here. Let's get you good lighting on the drizzle. This is gonna be the drizzle shot. Honey drizzle. How's that look? Probably pretty good. Honey works with fried chicken because you have sweetness, and then you have the salt from the fried. Sweet salt always offsets. But remember to take out the little flag. This is key, taking out the flag. Meat candy. Sorry, Baba Gum Shrimp Co. You lose once again to Jolly Bees across the street. Whoa, that was good. Okay, let's try some mash. It's probably better than it needs to be. And it is, honestly. This is a very good fried chicken meal. This could be a lot worse than it is, and still I would be drawn in by the good customer service and the beautiful lights of Times Square. The key to the mashed potato, light and fluffy like a cloud, salty, buttery, gravy, and then you go for the, the added gravy dump. Where the gravy takes on sort of a soup quality that glazes the mashed potato. And that is a delicious bite of food. Let's try some honey mustard. Dipping our biscuit in it. Oh. This is a mukbang. Let's start combining things. I say, a little honey mustard on the mashed potatoes. A little gravy. You know, get a little piece of chicken on there. This is a mukbang. This is a mukbang. Wow, that was like the Filipino way of eating, right? You combine all the different elements on your plate. Why not do it at Jollibee? Mukbang, mukbang continues. This is this is a little mashed potato technique. You have the, uh, you make a little crater, and then you go gravy lake, right? And then you can just break in the wall and enjoy your mashed potato dipped into the gravy lake. 
Let me take these matter potatoes to go. Let's go check out Times Square. That. It's very good. Where should I put this one? Sir? It's okay, put it here. It's okay, okay. Well, that's it. Let's go to Times Square. In every bite, there is joy. I'm taking my mashed potatoes. Who wants a tour of Times Square? Let's go. Across the street, we have Bubba Gump Shrimp Co. Let's see who's in the... Uh... Happy holidays, by the way. This one's coming out around Christmas, so I just want to say happy Merry Christmas to everybody watching. You've got the Lion King. You've got a big Gap commercial. They got rid of all the uh, mascots. What do you call them? Characters. They got rid of all like the Superman characters and all that stuff in Times Square, but there's still some good stuff. Oh, we've got a big bus tour. This is a double-decker bus tour that you can take and drive through New York. There's the McDonald's. Not as good as the Jollibee, that's for sure. Look at all these screens. This is Times Square, people. So if you're sitting at home, I don't know, maybe somewhere in the world, and you've always wondered what the real point of view Look, look, an authentic New York hot dog cart. I just met some Mario and Luigi. Let's look at that, look at that. That is a true New York hot dog cart. With kebabs. Now we're really getting into the thick of it. We've got the Forever 21 store, classic, polo. We've got the Disney store. And we're gonna run across to the main square. Try not to get hit by a New York yellow taxi. We've got good wind coming through. So here you are. I still have my mashed potatoes. Jolly Bee mashed potatoes have made it to Times Square. And here we are. Really in the thick of it now. As you can see, you gotta jaywalk because you're in New York. And that is it. This, if you look up, you can see you've got Times Square. You've got Jolly Bee mashed potatoes. And there is a mascot, there's Elmo. How exciting. Oh, there's the Grinch. Also exciting. Well, don't let the Grinch steal your Christmas. Cheers to Jollibee, cheers to you. Until next time from Times Square.